Beware, the mind games are real. You might be shocked to hear that manipulation tactics are a common tool used by inmates in prisons across the globe. It's a chilling fact that weaves a complex web of deceit and cunning, with the potential to compromise the integrity of even the most well-intentioned correctional officers. Psychologists and prison experts alike have studied these tactics extensively, revealing the intricate games that prisoners play. Dr. Stanton Samenow, a renowned criminal psychologist, notes, these individuals are skilled at understanding human behavior and exploiting it for their own gain. It all begins subtly. A prisoner might flatter an officer making seemingly innocent comments about their appearance or demeanor. These remarks, while seemingly harmless, are often the first step in a calculated strategy to manipulate the officer. The tactics escalate from there. Prisoners might start to ask for small favors, like a pen or a piece of paper. It seems innocuous enough, but this is where the trap is set. The prisoner is building a track record, creating a list of instances where the officer has bent the rules. When the time is right, they spring the trap, using this history of minor infractions as leverage. Other prisoners play the sympathy card, exploiting the officer's empathy to gain an emotional foothold. They might share stories of their hardships, painting themselves as victims rather than perpetrators. It's a powerful tactic that plays on our natural instinct to help those in need. Then there are those who seek to isolate the officer from their colleagues. They sow seeds of doubt and mistrust, aiming to create a divide that they can exploit. This isolation can lead to the officer trusting the inmate more than their fellow staff members, a dangerous imbalance of power. Professor Robert D. Hanzer, a leading expert in criminal justice, warns, this manipulation can lead to a wide range of serious consequences from trafficking contraband to forming inappropriate relationships. So how can one guard against these tactics? The answer lies in vigilance, professionalism, and a firm understanding of one's role in the prison environment. It's crucial to remember that every interaction with an inmate must remain 100% professional. As an officer, you must be in control of the situation at all times, demanding respect and ensuring full compliance. Respect, once established, must never be relinquished. It's a boundary that must remain firm, a line that cannot be crossed. And when an inmate asks for personal information or tries to engage in casual conversation, it's crucial to remember the words of Sergeant Idoc. The inquiring offender is a dangerous offender and must not be trusted. The mind games are real, but they can be beaten. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and most importantly, never forget the power of a single word. No. Voice over. This enlightening video is brought to you by Sergeant Cole of the Indiana Department of Corrections. As a seasoned field training officer, Sergeant Cole has witnessed firsthand a myriad of manipulation tactics. He emphasizes the importance of continuous education and staying informed. Knowledge, after all, is the key to staying one step ahead of manipulative individuals. Recommended readings include insightful books such as The Games Criminals Play and Verbal Judo. These offer invaluable insights into the world of manipulation, helping you understand and counteract these tactics effectively. As we come to the end of this video, please remember to like and subscribe to Marcus Cole's YouTube channel. Here you'll find a variety of informative topics that help you stay alert, informed, and empowered. Thank you for watching, and remember, knowledge is power.